Hello, hello, hello. I'm wondering if uh, I don't see us live yet. Wide band available. Do you see us live yet, Ethan? Okay, good deal. Alrighty. Yeah. All right, we're good now. Hello and welcome everyone to Disaster Time. I am your host, Story Master. Uh, we are going to put on a show for y'all tonight. Um, this is an improvised, select your own journey sort of show. Maybe that sounds familiar, rings a bell. You can infer some things. Uh, so this show is going to depend a lot on you, the audience, to help me um, make these puppets dance. And by puppets, I mean our fantastic cast of performers. Um, I would love for them to come out right now while I still talk to the audience because I'm going to introduce you really quickly before I give our audience any instructions. Go ahead and pop on out, y'all. Say hi. Hello. So we are going to improvise a story for y'all and we need your uh, your answers, your choices. You need to help me direct these characters where you want them to go. You have so much control. It's almost intoxicating. <laughs> I know I'm excited. So to get us started, what I need is uh, for you lovely people in the audience to go ahead and either pop your own initials or the initials of someone that you know in life or just whatever initials hit you. I'd like to keep them to uh, three letters, please. Go ahead and start popping them in there for me. Um, and while you are doing that, hey, cast, go ahead and take a break for a couple seconds. Well, what does it mean to take a break? <laughs> I don't know, figure it out. All right. So. <laughs> We actually have um, a giveaway to kick off our first show. Uh, one, our director and our show creator is actually an author, uh, Margaret Dillaway, and she is going to be giving away a pack of books to one lock, lucky audience member. Uh, that audience member will be selected on the following criteria. Go ahead and pop in the chat a ridiculous reason why you would ever miss this show. Ridiculous. I want it to be so ridiculous that I can't stop laughing. That is the criteria by which you will be judged. I'm actually gonna let Ethan do it though. I, I don't do the heavy lifting around here. So if you could go ahead and uh, pop that in the chat as well, I am going to select three members of our cast to come out and join me and help me come up with the book title for this month. Now this month's genre is supernatural romance. Think Twilight, think Vampire Diaries, think Sookie Stackhouse novels, think beautiful creatures. Um, and in order of, in, in honor of Valentine's Day, um, you know, maybe we can also bring you some horror. All right, so. Our cast members, I need to the stage, please. I need Whitney. I need Margaret. And I need Andy. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I I don't know if you said, but um, for the prize, mm -hmm. it should be US residents only. US residents only, because they're books and they're heavy. So, <laughs> if you're from anywhere else, which is Billy Kiss. So, I'm going to go with the initials um, J O P. And J O P. J O P. My lovely cast members, can each of you come up with a book title using the letters J O P? And we're going to go ahead and let our audience vote on which one they like the best. Um, I'm gonna to come to Andy first. Are you prepared, Andy? Yes. 
All right. <laughs> what do you have for me, Andy? So my J-O-P is jurors of panthers. <laughs> jurors of panthers. <laughs> jurors of panthers. <laughs> of panthers. Huh. Yeah. Right. What do you have for me? Journey of the pod people. Journey of the pod people. Also a strong choice. Mm -hmm. Whitney, what do you have for me? All right, get this, you guys. You ready? You ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. Jaguars of passion. Jaguars <laughs> of passion. Yeah. Oh my God. We get some Omega Verse stuff here. Ooh. All right. So, and so we have jurors of Panthers. We have journey of the pod people. And we have jaguars of passion. What is your favorite title? Which one do you want to see tonight? Oh, dear. Oh, it's all over the place. It's all over the place, <laughs> everyone. Uh, while you are voting, I would like to remind our audience that the PAC Theater is currently running on donations. You can donate to them via their Venmo, which is at PAC-Theater, E-R, uh, and donate any amount and you will help this channel and this theater keep running. All right. It looks like we're going with Jaguars of Passion. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm excited. Get the show on the road. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Jaguars of Passion. And Whitney will be our primary, uh, our our protagonist this day with your kitty paws. <laughs> <laughs> We open on Opal Vega. Opal is celebrating a very special day. This is her 19th birthday. And it is well known among the people that, that among the Jaguar people, excuse me, that's my other book, among the Jaguar people, that a Jaguar turns 19, they come into their full power. Because as supernatural beings that have overtaken the earth, they are magic. And so we open on Opal, sort of, sort of having a sit on her own, thinking about her life, thinking about all the changes that await her on the other side of gaining her magical powers. Gosh, I've, I've always wanted to have powers, but... I'm also in love. I, I I don't know if I want to be this magical thing and eventually rule the world, but I want to find someone who loves me for who I am without these magic. <sighs> Maybe there isn't anyone out there for me. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm lost I, in this. Hmm? Oh. Hi, Mother. I know that the weather tends to be a little cold around this time, but uh, yeah, and it does get a little hard to find our place around the mansion. Yes, but, I, I thought I was lost there for a moment. Oh. I know. It, it's hard sometimes. Listen, Mother, I've always wanted to talk, talk to you about... Do I have to have magic? Darling, there are two things you must remember in our family. You must have magic and you must mate for life. So if I Just then, there was a large crash through the woods Ooh. and an unknown to them, um, Jaguar tumbled through the underbrush. Who <laughs> tore them? It was a whole gang of them. Oh, three of them. <laughs> uh, I need to catch up on my math. Oh, um, uh, one of them looks really cute. Hmm. Audience, which, 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 um, which jaguar did uh, Opal find the most uh, beguiling? Uh, 
was it uh, number two, number four, or number six? I think with the numbers, a name would help too. Maybe I'll fall more in love with them. It probably would, but I haven't named them yet. Oh, it's number <laughs> six. His name was Billiam. Billiam. <laughs> yes. Billiam. Hello. Hello there. What is your name, young lady? Um, tell him your name. Tell him your name. Thanks, Mother, for encouraging me to find love. Um, Opal. 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 Oh, you're the most beautiful jaguar I've ever seen. Oh, you don't mean that. This is too good to be true. Do you feel like mating for life? I might. Although no, I feel like... Oh, oh he, smells, he smells very, very good, Opal. Like, his pheromones are so rank of this earth. Like, the forest, you must... I've been told that before. Thank you. <sighs> but I feel like, like their colors should come up. Like, what just, about the other two? Really, just really quickly, I would like to get the internal monologue of Jaguar number two. <laughs> just picking berries in an orchard all by myself, and I felt, suddenly felt drawn to this castle. Oh, something magical is happening here, and I guess I'm just glad to be a part of it. <laughs> End of internal monologue. <laughs> this forest is quite enchanting it seems very scary though are there dangers here are there, there other were dangers, dangers. there were a lot of dangers audience what did uh those dangers include were they giant jaguar eating snakes or were they earthquakes or unpredictable <laughs> snakes, snakes. You have a bit of a snake problem here. Ah. Oh, this is one right now with horns. Oh, and yes. Oh. I have reproduced. Oh, with a ram. Uh, we mate for life, but we are scary. <laughs> Oh man, we got this problem. Hey, I got an idea. How about this? Whoever takes down all the snakes or the most snakes wins my heart in marriage. <gasps> Although okay. I am William, I will admit. Wow, but that I sounds like a really good. That sounds like a really good idea, Opal. Um, but that's not going to happen. Uh, the snake went ahead and just sort of picked up Billiam and ran off oh. with him. <laughs> no offense oh to you. <laughs> wow, what intrigue happening today, huh? Oh, I don't know about Billiam as a choice anymore. Like, he didn't even fight that snake. <laughs> but there's something about Billiam that draws to me. And I need all of you guys to help me out and find him. Get it. <laughs> End of chapter one. Wow. Where the heck are we? I know we said I said we were on Earth, but like, wow. Don't you want a time machine? You can sort of see what this would look like. I bet there's like giant tree-sized mushrooms in this place, too. All right. So for chapter two, would you like us to start? at uh, a castle, or would you like us to start on a beach? Go ahead and pop your selection in the chat. Um, so at the beginning of chapter two, we see this new ragtag new rag rag band of uh, jaguar ladies who are off to find Opal's true love. You gotta give them a second, cause like the environments have to load, you know. <laughs> it's in a, it's a, at the beach, y'all. Beach castle, whatever. <laughs> wow, what a nice 
day. <laughs> oh, what were we doing again? We're looking I can smell for. them here. I can smell them here. Oh, yes. It smells rank. <laughs> Very rank. Just like a man out of smell. <laughs> but where was Opal? Audience, where was Opal? Was Opal taking a swim in the ocean to sort of clear her mind? Or was Opal on walkabout? Ah, she's swimming. That was refreshing. But I didn't find Billion there. Any luck? I've just been enjoying the sunshine, but I guess if I had to say, I haven't seen anybody. Well, if he's not in the ocean and he's not on the beach, perhaps he's under it. We need to dig. I love that idea. <laughs> uh, you Take know, your I little paws and dig. Dig. Mother, you know I have a fear of digging. Opal, this is the time to be brave, all right? You want Billion? You want Billion to be your mate for life? Then you have to work for it. Oh, goodness. <gasps> I can kill creatures, but I can't dig for the life of me. Okay, Opal, Shatner. I will try to dig for you, mother. And for William. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it, you're doing it. Boy, it freaks me out. It free. Don't you feel something, Opal? What? All of a sudden, they found at the bottom of the hole they were digging. Audience, what did they find? Did they see a light or did they find a box? Oh, you found a box, ladies. A, a box? Wow. That is a beautiful crystal box that is really quite large. I wonder what's inside. Open it up, Opal. I'll put it down. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Panther number two and Jaguar number four, what are your <laughs> names? I'm Wildflower. <laughs> That's a beautiful name. Thank you. My mom gave it to me and then my dad agreed with her and then they both pa passed me off to my aunt who raised me. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Number four. Oh, I'm Scratch. Scratch. <laughs> ah, what an original name. All right, guys. I have the box open. Honestly, I'm not fully sure what I'm witnessing here. It looks like a map of some map. kind. Mother, can you take it out for me? Yes. Written on this yellow paper in some strange language I've never seen before. No, we're cats, we don't really read at all, do we? Scratch, Scratch, Scratch had seen it before though. Scratch, where have you seen it before? I've seen it before, like around 500 years ago. Someone told me that the map will lead you to your true love. <gasps> true love? True. Love. Oh, that means I could get to Billiam. I mean, what do we do? What does it say? Like, um, is there anything we need to do specifically to get this going? 
Yeah. There was. There was definitely something they needed to do specifically. Audience, was it that they had to go and find a magical translator or was it that they had to perform a ritual? <laughs> Anytime you care to answer me, audience. It's a ritual. Oh, <clears throat> okay. A ritual. I see. You know, yeah. there's the one that your grandmother taught me. She did it when she lost her love and she needed to find him. First, you, Mr. Grant. Yes. First, we must all eat a bunch of grass. Huh? Second, we must lick and clean ourselves as we've never groomed ourselves before. And then we each cough up a huge hairball into a, a pile and we set it on fire and then cover it with sand. This sounds amazing. <laughs> sounds challenging, but I like a challenge. Opal did like a challenge and a End of chapter two. Sorry, I don't know what's happening here in Story Master Land. Apparently the Wi-Fi is garbage. All right, so this is going swimmingly, I think. Haha, <laughs> the beach. All right, so in chapter three, should we go to the Scary Snakes Things castle? Or should we go to the dungeon in the Scary Snake Things castle? Uh, scary snake thing is the thing that kidnapped Billiam, Opal's true love. And I think this is going to actually be a turning point for Opal because she's not sure if she wants to use magic and now she's being asked to do a ritual. I mean, this is some heavy stuff. Uh, Dungeon of the Snake Castle. We find Billiam and the scary snake thing, whose name is Christina, in the dungeon of her castle. Christina, why have you put this collar on me and made me grow this mustache? Set me free! <laughs> Listen, Billy. Um, I like the way you look like the Pringles man. <laughs> and so... <laughs> I improvised... Will you be my friend? How can I be friends with someone who's kidnapped me and shackled me? Although I do like your horns. No. You do? Thank you. I'm very self-conscious about them since I'm a snake and snakes don't have horns. But I am, am a production of love. You're a snake scary thing and you are beautiful and perfect the way you are. But if you perhaps unshackle me, I can appreciate the horns even more. My, my... Uh... Sorry, Billiam. You have to stay and play with me because I said so. Hey, um, could I please? I don't know what the others want from you, but I want you to know that I want to keep you here for my pet. I don't want to be, a well, what do you want to play? What game do you want to play then? If I must be a pet. Play I've always, I've always wanted to have a tea party. Okay. Would you like some tea? I would love some tea. That's enough. Thank you. 
Mmm. Let's That's play. delicious. <laughs> That's delicious. Now, dear, um, I want to tell you that Miranda from church said she really liked your car. Oh, oh, Miranda. I love Miranda. She's uh, your most beautiful other snake scary thing friend. <laughs> Always well. You love her more than me. You love her more than me. I saw you, how you inflected her name, Miranda. You love her, not me. You, Christina. <laughs> Do you hear intruders? People coming. <gasps> Ding dong. Yes. Ding dong. Very... Hello. It's just Miranda from church with some lemonade for you. Oh. Very kind. Yes, please. Lemonade. She's she's here. She's here for you. <gasps> she's trying to break you out, lovers quarrel. It's okay, I've got Stockholm Syndrome. I, I, I don't want to break out anymore. I, I'll stay with you, don't worry. Just put out your cups and I'll pour you some lemonade. <laughs> Miranda, not now, I'm playing with Billiam. You're so rude, okay, fine. Uh, I'll come back later <laughs> and I'll have cookies by then too. Okay. To the end of this chapter. I agree, it should be the end of this chapter. <clears throat> Y'all trying to kick me out of my own book? What that? What's that about? It's ridiculous. Sorry. You don't have you don't have the power here, puppets. I do. You're all gonna get reprimanded for that later. All right. So at the beginning of chapter four, I believe we are going to rejoin our um, pack of uh, lady adventurers who have now uh, completed the ritual and are able to read the map. Right. Right. Thing. We need to find grass. A little hard to find grass on the beach now, isn't it, Mother? Well, how about seaweed instead? That'll make us barf. I suppose Run into the surf. All right. So I'll go back in the water, find some seaweed, and we can start. Opal, you have a very... Uh, Bad attitude. <laughs> you know, she's been like that ever since she was a little kitten. Really? Yeah, she didn't like using the litter box. She didn't want to get sand in her paws. <laughs> oh, I have given up hope for finding a mate for her. All of a sudden, Opal's mother began to hear the map whisper in a strange language to her. Oh, ma. Oh, ma. What yep, is I... it? Oma, Oma, Ihima, Iu. Oh, it's telling me where to go. Oh, that was easy. CVD, Imi, Grasse, 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 Tutu. Eat the seaweed as if it's grass. <laughs> And then go into the castle to look for Billiam. <gasps> That's what we were going to do. Billiam, 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 curse, Billiam, curse. Billiam is cursed. <gasps> How am I going to tell my beloved daughter Opal that her one true love is cursed? <gasps> Just then, Opal returned with an armful of seaweed. I'm back. Oh. I'm a little tired, but I think we can start. Oh, well, I have something difficult to share with you. This is more difficult than the time you didn't get onto the flag football team. Before you, um, before you tell her, I would like you to do it uh, with a Shakespearean style of affectation, please. Thank you. 
We're so thankful. Your <laughs> one true lover, the one true lover, Will William, has been cursed, cursed with the most awfulest of, of awful things. Alack, for curse I thee, I care to not nullify your jealousy. That's perhaps what it is, jealousy. Thou, thou thinkest I am jealous? Huh. All those times that I tried rebelling against you, rebel like the devil himself was trying to take against you. No, no. You, you always favored yourself of me. Nay, this is just not true. My dearest heart of my dearest daughter of my dearest loin. <laughs> I've given everything to you. No, no, it's... You keep telling me I need magic, I need to take over the world. I just want to settle and find someone who cares about me. Just that. Well, that is because I made a very serious mistakes as a youngster, my child. And I do not want thou to make the same errors as thine own mother. But Opal wasn't having any of it. She was angry and she stormed off of the beach and disappeared into the ether. Just when we were going to go to the castle, she ran away. She has such a bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> she did no. have a bad attitude. End of chapter four. Oh, audience. Oh, it's getting very real now. The group has splittered and Billiam is cursed. Cursed to have tea parties. From what I gather, I got kicked out of my own book. I think that's what happened. All right. So in chapter five, would you like us uh, to start? Well, we're going to start out in the dungeon, of course. But um, who finds Billiam first? Is it Opal or is it her mother? And wildflower. Is it her dearest loin or is it the haver of the dearest loin? <laughs> ah, it's her mother, wildflower. And I feel like it's weird to just call someone mother. Uh, her name is Lily. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Help, help me. I've been cursed. <laughs> Making me wear clothes and Hi. things. Hello. Hello. It's Jasper, right? Scary snake thing. You have a Chris name. It's Christina. 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 That's pretty. <laughs> I Did have you give it to me. Thank you. Yes. My mother gave it to me and my father agreed. <gasps> and then your aunt raised you? How did you know? That same exact thing happened to me. What? Wow. I'm so sorry. I was so mean to you. We have more in common than I previously thought I was very jealous and I took Billiam and I made him have tea parties with me but I now know that's wrong that sounds oh. kind of nice yes Christina why don't you come live in the forest with us we can live peacefully we can attack small prey together oh that sounds so Sweet, but sounds will they accept sweet, me? Uh, it sounds sweet, audience. Um, but does Christina really want to do this, or is she gonna stay here with her new playmate, 
who is slowly becoming the painting Son of Man by Magritte. <laughs> is she staying or going? Is she staying or going? No, she doesn't want to go. She does not want to go to the forest. It sounds wonderful and sweet, but I like my castle. Okay, will you give us Billiam? We can take him back for you. I mean, only under one condition. What's that? You tell you tell everyone in the forest that I'm very nice and I just want friends, but I I I'm very bad and also uh, I let Billiam go on my choosing. No other. No other alternative. She's very confused. Please. Yeah, Christina, this is mixed messages. Well, I think I get it. So you want us to take Billion back, but spread the rumors as your hype people, so the young people say, yeah. um, and tell everyone what a cool snake ram you are. Yes. Yes. Number Lily gets me. You must be a mother. I am. I am indeed. Snakey, yeah. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Billiam, I'll miss you too. Uh, Billiam, do you not want to be uncursed and come mate for life with my dear Opal? I, I do, but... Moin? I, I, I'm, I'm very happy to be involved in your, all your loins and things, but I just, they, I'm, I'm offended that, that the sneaky Christina can let me go so easily without even a fight or caring about me in any way. This guy's trying to keep a stake in every game. <laughs> I know. He just wants to keep his options open. No. <laughs> yeah, it was that's... never, it was never like that for me, Billiam. I always wanted to be your friend. I, I, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Why did you kidnap me then? Was I just supposed to ask you to come play with me? Probably. I might have come. Hindsight is 2020. Christina. Yes. Christina, I can play with you. <gasps> yes. Oh. A friend. It was the best friend that Christina would ever have because they both understood one another. They both were just sort of misunderstood sort of interesting characters, but I am so sorry, Billiam. I think Krishna is about to have a change of heart because I don't think she wants to let you go this easily. I think Lily and Wildflower are going to have to find a replacement for you. Mm -hmm. I can live with that. Billiam! I am not letting you go. I suddenly have taken fawn to your top hat. Oh, you love me after all. Thank you. We're still friends. Okay. It it would really help his ego, I think, Christina, if you demanded some sort of a replacement for him, not just letting him go. I think it would help his Stockholm syndrome sort of like even itself oh. out. Okay, all right. So, Billiam, how about, how about I just put somebody else in your place? Okay. Like you, another? Yeah. You're betrothed to somebody else. You have to get that straightened out. But I need somebody else to stay in my castle and be with me. So they're going to go and figure that out. End of chapter five. <clears throat>
Billion just does not know what he wants. And ain't it just the way you start talking to a guy and he makes you feel like you're special and then he gets kidnapped by a snake person and all of a sudden he gets Stockholm syndrome. <sighs> Typical. All right, so uh, we're going to start chapter six and in chapter six, we find Opal. Opal has lost her way, um, but she's coming up the backside of the castle. And as she comes up the backside of the castle, she topples through some brickwork that's a little shaky and falls directly into the dungeon. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> wow, well, I guess I'm here. Oh, oh. <gasps> Billy! You've come to save me. I have. But I, I lost mother and wildflower. And I, I have you seen them? They were here. Snaky thing is very strange and suffering from mood swings. And I, I don't know if they're safe or not. She's she stopped me. I don't have to wear the bowler hat anymore, at least. I'm well, still You know how oh. dangerous it would have been to wear that. I need to go and kill that snake beast. Oh. Cause I don't know what they're gonna do to them. Really, I'm, I'm scared. You're so brave, you're wonderful. But snake thing is very conflicted. I don't think it's right if we just kill her or do you might, do you just feel like just killing her? Maybe you should. Really? Uh, William, you you're useless. All right, Lily and Wildflower and Christina come into the room just as they are having this discussion over what might transpire. Oh, hey, oh I'm glad you guys are safe. Oh, you scared me. I, I'm, and I'm sorry for running away. I. I just felt so conflicted and overwhelmed that I didn't know what to do. And I just want, I just needed to escape. You know what, Opal? You are a full grown jaguar and I will support whatever decision you want to make, whether it means that you have no magic or no mate, or you want to be alone forever and ever in the forest like I am. I support you. I don't really know this very well, but that sounds like a really good mom. Yes, she's a great mom. And as for you, snake, fight to the death. Yes. Oh, so willingly, I love it. Over, it over Billiam? Cause you can just have him. I got another friend. Oh, oh, audience, audience, should they fight or, um, I mean, should she just accept that Billiam's been given over and there, there doesn't really have to, we don't really have to do any fighting. We could, we could have a break this battle, but, um, you know, how are you feeling, audience? I'm hot and I'm cold. I'm a snake and I'm a ram. That, those are my emotions right now. I'm sorry, Opal. I don't want to destroy you. Now, if you're both hot and cold, does that cancel out and make you warm? Luke. Christina, Luke. take a moment to think. Please, don't do anything rash. But she didn't, and uh, they began to have a breakdance battle. You know, growing up, I may have been a rebel, but I knew how to break dance. <laughs> This was for you, Mom and Billy. <laughs> they break danced and they break danced all into the night until they were both exhausted. Alas, there could be no winner. They were of equal skill. Your horns! It happened! I'm... It's happening! I'm shedding! I'm shedding! 
What, what happened to the blood? I shed my ram. I shed my ram side. Yeah, you're in. What happens when Christina sheds her ram's side? Does she become a jaguar or does she become a dragon? Either one. I feel like you've evolved into your character very nicely. <laughs> She's a dragon. Hell yeah. Rawr! <sighs> Christina, Christina, wait, 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 wait. I want to tell you something. I I will stay here with you in place of Billion, okay? I will be your best friend, possibly life partner, you know, depending on how things go and if, what your Netflix queue looks like and all that stuff. Um, Hi, guys. I got lost in the castle. Oh, um, I'm so glad yeah. that you <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, scratch. Scratch, would you like to stay here in the castle with me? Oh, yeah. I would love to. It's my dream to have a mother. And wildflower? A mother. I'm going to have you as a playmate. And wildflower, do you want to stay here too? I would love to, but only if I can wear this hat forever. <laughs> yes, you can. So, Wait, Christina. Will you take us three in place of Billion? Yes! Yay! You are He's the a serious dog. dragon. You're doing great. Yeah. Just <laughs> not. I'm just not. I'm trying not to torture you with my fire. Can I have a moment with Mother before? Walter Park. I'm worth three people. <laughs> Billion. Oh, Paul, Billion, run, 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 and be happy. Wait. She wants. She wants to be alone with her mom. Just let's let's give her a minute. Let's let's give them a minute. Sorry, I'm not good at reading social cues. It's okay. Just tender family <laughs> moment. Thank you. Oh, mother, my child. I, uh, it'd be so hard for me to say goodbye to you. Will I ever see you again? Well, you know, I won't be too far away and I can always visit you in your dreams. I guess this is what all mothers want for their children, for them to grow up and be independent, make their own choices. I'll try to come visit you in the forest. I didn't think this was gonna be so hard for me to say goodbye. I feel like I took you so much for granted. Finally. I mean. <laughs> well, you don't need to rub it in. I'm being vulnerable right now. You know how much I don't like being vulnerable. This is tough. I know, because you are exactly like me. <laughs> Let's just close our eyes, turn away, and run from each other. Ready? Can I at least give you a kiss goodbye? I mean... Yes. All right. I'm going to count of three. We'll One. Two. Two. Three. three. End of chapter six. Holy cow. <sighs> I am riveted to my core, I have to tell you. Uh, we're going to get an epilogue to this book because we're not entirely resolved yet. So as Opal ran away down into the forest, Billion caught up with her. And there they had their first to face solo exchange. You paid a high yeah. price for me. I, I don't feel I can live up to such pressure. I, are you happy with your choice? You know, when I first met you, 
Your eyes just sparkle like the stars that night. And there is something about your energy that you give up that is so overwhelming. But now that I had some time to learn about you more and see your vulnerable side, I'm, I'm torn. <gasps> so as you've got to know me more, you like me less. I guess that's the risk that we all take. I mean, yes, we're supposed to mate, but I would like to get to know you. You're so great. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, William, this is your problem. <laughs> You're all complimenting. I want honesty. I want trust because I feel like you're just complimenting me. And I. Audience, audience, can Billiam finally let down his social math and finally be vulnerable with Opal? Or is he just going to keep going on his same crap? <laughs> wow, it is really mixed. I'm going to give it another second here. Oh, you're on your same crap, Billiam. Oh, I was all ready to say how horrible you were for leaving your mother in that castle. How could you be so selfish? But I won't. Because you're beautiful. And, well, that, that is true anyway. And, you know, we're going to be so happy together. And I'm going to cook for you every day. And, yeah, give you foot massages. We'll be so happy. You know, I wish, now looking back, I wish I took advantage of the whole magic thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna barf. <laughs> Just then, a laser of light came out of Opal as she thought she was vomiting. It was a pure <laughs> laser of power that bursted forth from deep within her. She had chosen herself, and thus had chosen magic. Magic! I will demolish you, Billiam! Well, it was a lot easier than I thought. Um, yeah, I kind of like this whole magic thing. What was I thinking about love and partners and... Mm. <sighs> More of the story. You do you, boo boo. The end. Holy cow! Thank you so much, everyone. Come back on stage. Come back on stage. Come back on stage. Yay! Mm. That was Jaguars of Passion. Jaguars of passion. Um, Roxy, someone in the chat, uh, when we turned you into a dragon, called you a dragoir. And I <laughs> yeah. feel remiss if I didn't at least put that out there because I didn't get a chance to use it like we had made decisions before I saw it. But dang, that's so good. <laughs> Do we uh, want to pick the winner, Brenna? Do we? Pick yeah, winner? let's go ahead and pick a winner. Does um does Ethan have a chosen winner? <laughs> All right. While you read, I want to remind our audience that you can donate to the Pack Theater via Venmo. They are at Pack Dash Theater on Venmo. Go ahead and shoot them a couple of bucks, or you can subscribe to their Twitch channel and you can uh, support them that way as well. We are here on the first Wednesday of every month at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have a cast that spans the globe and we are so happy that they are here and that they have uh chosen to be awake uh at yeah. whatever time it is where they live um so if we could just you know give give them some claps give them some yeah claps. let's say where we're from real quick yeah let's go around go around um introduce yourselves where you're from uh wildflower <laughs> i'm emily marco also known as wildflower and i'm from california Yay. Ewan. I'm Ewan. I'm from Scotland. Hello. Whitney. So I'm Whitney and I am from Connecticut. Ooh. Roxy. 
Hi, I'm Roxy, and I am in Virginia. And Andy. Hi, everyone. I'm Andy. I'm from Manila, Philippines, and it's 12.55 p.m. here. Happy lunch. Happy morning. (laughs) 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 My name is Brenna Judkins. I live in San Diego, California. And Margaret. I'm Margaret Dillaway, and I live in San Diego, California. And uh, this is the book you'll be receiving. This is Sisters of Heart and Snow, published by Platinum Books. I have a box of seven copies to send to some uh, to some lucky winner. And you can give it to your book club. You can hoard them like a book dragon. You can do whatever you want with them. That's what I send. Ethan, do you have a winner? I really liked that one too. That was my favorite. Yay. (laughs) Send us a whisper on. Yes. (laughs) Send us a whisper on Twitch and uh, send us your name and your mailing address, and we will get those books out to you. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching the first episode of Disaster Time. We will see you next month at 8 p.m. on the first Wednesday, which I believe is March third um we'll find it follow us on facebook see you later bye bye bye, bye. bye. bye.